Parks Bros. It's Drew here, and it is the fifth and final day of our insane kind of road trip slash plane trip, technically, through Cedar Point and also some northern Pennsylvania as of yesterday. But um, yeah, it's been it's been quite the fantastic trip. We're back here for a couple hours today until we have to leave for our flight in Cleveland around three or so. Um, and yeah, it's kind of crazy to think this will be our last day for sure. But uh, we were coming to early entry. Early entry is about to end in about three minutes though. We kind of slept in a little bit. But Steel Vengeance is down, but Maverick is open. So hopefully we'll be able to get on Maverick. But because Steel Vengeance is down, there's gonna be a big chunk of people that just went straight from Steel Vengeance to Maverick. So, and it looks like Steel Vengeance won't be opening for a while. They have two trains off and one stuck on the lift hill. So uh, yeah, we'll see what happens with that. But hopefully we can at least get a ride on Maverick because we've been needing that the past 48 hours. So actually we've got seven minutes left of early entry. So we do have a little time to get over to Maverick before the crowd start to pour into the front gate at least. Uh, Magnum entrance was pretty much empty. So we might be kind of in luck for some of the things here today, um, but maybe not for some others. So uh, we'll just have to wait and see. I don't think we'll get on Steel Vengeance today, honestly, um, just because it's already down for one. So it probably won't even open till noon. Um, and also just because I don't think we want to wait the two hours for it today, especially after our amazing ride last night. So as you can see, uh, Steel Vengeance has started testing, so it's not opening at 12. Um, but you can see the line from here already lining up for it. It's crazy. It's definitely a Saturday and Maverick looks to have a 45 minute wait or so. But we'll wait it. Hopefully it doesn't break on us again. Um, yeah, uh, that would be very unfortunate. So we've got full queue house switchbacks right now. Uh, that usually is a sign of 30 minutes at least. So we are on the bridge outside. It's gonna be 45 to an hour probably. But after this, I don't know if we're really gonna ride any other big coasters because by the time we get off of this, there probably will be pretty gigantic waits for everything. So uh, we'll just have to wait and see what we really wanna do. So, feelings just hit hard for me, I'm gonna be honest. We don't get to ride this again for a long time. Kinda sad about that, honestly. Um, fantastic ride. Uh, we rode front row, at least Zach and I. The other two rode back. I'm sure they loved it. I don't blame them, but. Yeah, that launch without sunglasses on is incredible though, for sure. Involuntarily cried. All right, after our fantastic ride on Maverick, uh, we came in to get this shirt. We really want this shirt, but they don't have it in medium. Very sad right now. So just grab some pizza from, uh, I guess it's called pizza? I, I, I guess, it, is it called pizza? The sign, oh. oh wow. The sign just says pizza, but uh, one of the best food experiences we've had so far. It was quick um, and like they, they were nice and yeah. They said have a nice day. That was a nice change. I wasn't gonna vlog today, but I feel like I have to vlog just to. Yeah, it's been it's been quite decent today. I mean, yeah. we we waited an hour for Maverick, and then we got it's some pizza. Nice. They moved the line. Yeah, I mean, 
the pizza was ready soon because it's already made, but you know, you know other places fine. where the stuff is already made, they weren't bad. Yeah, that's very true. So uh, hopefully it tastes good, but uh, we'll see. The breadstick is mediocre. Well, at least there's breadsticks. I didn't Two expect... breadsticks. Yeah, that's pretty most crazy. Places, most fast, uh, most amusement park pizza places... Usually, give you the usually it's like an extra four bucks for a breadstick. At least it's Disneyland, but that's Disneyland, so I don't know. But it's nice that you get two breadsticks. So oh, yeah. It might not taste great, but you'll be full of it. Oh, yeah, easily. Well, why were we eating? Uh, yeah, it is it is rollback uh, right now, so we yeah, had a little rollback. Well, it's still moving right now, but um, yeah, hopefully we won't have the problems that we did the other night. Uh, hopefully it'll just keep going. So uh, yeah, they just reset the LSMs. Yeah. And they should be good to go. Yep, and they're gone. All right, well, getting some footage for Maverick, uh, we're next to Wave Swinger, which is, you know, your standard swing ride. And uh, we figured, why not just ride it? So, just got off a wave swinger. Um, probably the worst wave swing, I've, or the swing ride, you know, that, that I've ever been on, I think. Honestly, didn't really get much height. Why is it so much hate? It's a wave it's, swing. It's just, I, it's I know. I, it's, it's, it's fine. It's, it's just, a wave it's, swing. Yeah, but it's, is the one that's 300 feet tall. Yeah, true. I don't know. It's just, it's okay. Great views of Maverick, um, at least in the turnaround, but yeah, it's all right. So. I don't know where we're going next. Um, we're heading down Frontier Trail, it seems, though. Uh, maybe we'll end up somewhere forbidden. Alright, never mind. We're actually making a little U-turn and we're going to go back to the uh, Frontier Town Museum. And uh, I, this is something I've been wanting to do the entire trip, but we just never really found the time for it because we were just trying to ride something. Where today, that's not really what we're here for. We're just kind of kind of walk around and do whatever we really feel like, especially with stuff that doesn't have a weight necessarily. So we're just going to, you know, enjoy the park without the rides, really. So here's one of the main attractions inside the museum. A scale model of Steel Vengeance. It is fantastic in person. But this is literally just the tip of the iceberg for what's in here. Can't wait to see a lot more. It's so old. There's also some uh, other models in here. One of what? Proceeded Steel Vengeance, and that is Mean Streak. It's kind of crazy to see the difference. So here's the Park's old log flume white water landing. It's kind of crazy to think that this is gone now, but what came in its place was pretty great, I think. And speaking of wooden coaster models, there's another one, Blue Streak. Really kind of cool to see this in miniature, for sure. So here's some amazing pieces from some old Mary Jones. I'm not actually sure what the top piece is from, but uh, at least this horse is from 
Kitty Land Carousel. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous artistry for all three of these horses. Like, absolutely incredible. And the fact that we can just look at them here makes it all better. So one of the coolest pieces in this entire museum is a front car from Gemini, which is awesome. You can get literally all around it, and it's also a photo opportunity. You can totally, totally get up in there. Like, it's just awesome, and have your picture taken. And uh, I just, I love the fact that you can actually do this. And also when Zach came up, or I came up to Zach looking at it, he was doing what Mario is doing right now, except he was touching the wheels and uh, feeling what they feel like. Is he no, no, or is that no he, apparently it's all right, I guess. But yeah, no, he was just looking down at the wheel assemblies and touching them up. And, and yeah, so, cool, right? yeah, you could be, well, I'm just gonna, oh yeah, well, that's a wheel. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> Can I have it? It would be cool to have, but nah, I think it needs to stay on the piece, to be honest. I think it's a really cool addition, though, to the museum, for sure. Zach, would you get out of there? Stop feeling up in there. That's gross. So right next to Gemini's car, uh, they do have a player violin as well as a player piano, which are fantastic. And also here, the apparently the Sandusky clock um, from 1897. It definitely seems to be its own player organ, and it's fantastic. It's gorgeous all around, and it looks like it shows a bunch of different I ideologies in American history, maybe, or like, I, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Well, George Washington top left, you got some, yeah, this, oh, death in the bottom right corner, for sure, Jesus in the top right. I'm kind of confused, but I'm sure everything has a quite meaningful meaning, yeah. <laughs> also, you can see all of the different star signs for astrology on the clock as well. So after our wonderful visit to the museum, which I actually really enjoyed, there's a lot of uh, china in there. So like plates and stuff like that from a hundred years ago, which is really cool. But uh, I'm not the biggest china guy, to be honest. Um, everything that you saw in the video is something that I thought was cool. Uh, actually, there was a couple more things in there for sure. But now we're gonna go on Skyhawk because there's no wait for it, so. I mean, might as well get on one of our fa favorite flat rides. Oh, uh, dragster just tested. Oh, don't get my hopes up. So, Skyhawk, great, great flat ride for sure. One of my favorites. But, dragster looming in the background now testing. I wonder how many people are rocking over there. Actually, so Skyhawk, fantastic. Uh, even with getting stapled, like awesome. Um, but Top Little Jackster has gone for testing a couple times, but they're doing it like one train every five minutes or so. So they're really just trying to see if it's good to even test straight cycles again. So because it hasn't run in weeks, um, but yeah, I, I I don't expect it to open today. I really do not. Uh, Especially after being down for so long to only test for a couple hours and then just open up out of nowhere. That just doesn't seem like a likely option. But we're gonna go check it out, just see what's going on. Maybe ask some staff to see what is gonna go on for the rest of today. Honestly, this park does rush opening things, so oh, that, yeah. that does give us hope. True. Uh, a grain of hope. But it is also quite windy sprinkling. today. That's so uh, I think that might be Real bad. Yeah, well, could you imagine? Oh your my first, goodness. Your first ever ride. Ooh. But, um, yeah, yeah, if it opens, fantastic. If it doesn't, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not really that hurt by it. But we're gonna walk past it again, and then we're probably gonna make a full circle back around, um, if we can. Because I know we gotta go stop by Iron Dragon at least. Oh, yeah. So, um, he's catching up. So, quite the line has formed already after like three test runs. Um, but they are having maintenance crews walk the launch right now, check everything in there. Um, so, they are definitely readying for more testing. Um, I don't know about an opening though, I kind of doubt it honestly. But uh, apparently, all these people themed, seem to think the other way around. Well, it is sending out another test, so maintenance must have given the okay. Um, so, let's see how this uh, looks in person, shall we? Oh, that's loud. Hello. 
Well, this will be fun. Yeah. Yeah, it's more impressive in person. Ooh. Yeah, much more impressive in person. All right, well, maybe Forbidden Frontier will have to wait until our next visit. Whew. All right, so we're about 20 minutes into our waiting for Top Hill Jackster. Maintenance crews just went back out to the uh, anti-rollback brakes. So pretty much in the same spot though. Um, so it looks like one of them is not cooperating. So they haven't sent a test since the last one we saw. So I don't know, it's, it's looking a little doubtful, I think. So you may be wondering why we're actually waiting for this. And the thing is, this is the one big coaster we have not ridden at this park. And it is actually Zach's like biggest ride that he wanted to ride. His most anticipated ride, that's what I was looking for. But um, yeah, so we, we definitely want to wait it out if we can. And they are hoping to open it today. But maintenance, as you can see, is still working on the, on the brake fins. So um, we'll see what happens. Uh, I don't know, I was really hoping to get to Forbidden Frontier if we could, but uh, it's looking like it probably won't happen. Um, we do have to make a couple stops before we head out, but we've got about an hour and a half, maybe a little more, before we actually need to head out. It's up there for about a good 15, almost 20 minutes, and about three or four minutes ago, they ended up moving back to the station, so we're hoping to see a test, potentially in the next couple minutes. And if they have to come back out here afterwards, um, I don't think we're riding. I don't know. Well, we'll see. We're gonna hold it out for as long as we can, I think. Well, finally, about 35 minutes later, we're seeing another test. People cheer in here, um, but the problem is that's the only test in the past 35 minutes. Meaning that they're gonna have to do a heck of a lot more testing before any of us can ride, let alone one of the operators first. Um, so we'll see if the maintenance crew comes back out to the brakes out here. If they do, I really am gonna doubt it if we will get on it today at least. Um, but if they don't, if they keep sending tests, by all means, we'll wait for it. Well, great news. It's going again. Uh, wow, that shakes quite a bit, um, but that was a good, I think 30, 45 seconds later. So I think we're in the clear, maybe, potentially. I hope so. Well, three in a row. Number four coming through. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's definitely hitting that 120 mile an hour mark. Also, if you can count them. That's five. It's getting more and more entertaining watching this thing go over though. Ooh. It's number six. I know I keep counting these, but it's just really entertaining to me to just see them go by so incredibly quickly. Uh, I mean, it's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Really excited. Well, after a couple successful test runs, uh, apparently one of them wasn't so successful because they're having maintenance walk back out actually to a different area of the launch track. Um, so we'll see, they actually just announced uh, over the intercom that it will be uh, facing a lengthy delay. So we, we really don't know what what's gonna happen at this point. Well, they're testing again. Uh, a good 30 minutes later, Ooh. Well, let's hope they just keep going. Well, things are looking hopeful again. So, sorry to uh, keep showing you testing footage, but it's nice to see it testing for sure. Um, I don't know, I'm just excited that none of these tests have rolled back either, so that's great news. getting real promising now. Um, tons of tests in a row. Ooh boy. 
Also, the light effects are now working on the actual tower itself, so that's even better news um, because those weren't running when they were testing originally. So, big up to the crew of uh, Telltale Dragster here. Um, there was a bunch of fast lane people that were lining up outside of the main line that everyone is in, fast lane and regular included. And I told all the people waiting for fast lane up front, they had to wait in the same line as everybody else until they actually get to the regular line if, well, if the ride opens itself. Um, but yeah, there's it's all mixed together right now because we've all been here for about two hours. So kind of crazy all right they have a test rider we may be getting on this i am shaking oh please oh please oh please oh please back row test rider on that one yes we got a chance we have a chance yeah they're just getting ready Ooh, please. All right, we have a third test rider in the middle. I, I think we might actually be able to do this. So there should only be two more test riders and two separate more trains. So uh, if that's the case, after that, they should open. Well, we now have audio. That's a fantastic sign, I would say. Um, I don't, I don't know what's going on. We haven't gotten a call down here yet, so. Oh boy, we, I, it's the, the grueling part is that we have to make a flight after this. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, oh boy. Let's hope we can get on. Oh, I hope so. Here we go. Almost two and a half hours later, we are hoping to get on Top Hill Dragster. The line is now open, the ride is now open. So, instead of, you know, having it be orderly, uh, they just decided let's yeah they had the entire line just split into two for no reason it's kind of not a great so it's really bizarre but hopefully we can get a ride on uh and then hopefully we can catch our flight we are here the station that's the break run. that's that's, that's the, the break run. run zach you ready yeah all righty let's get on this thing Huh. First two public trains in a month. Yep. There we go. We're good. Beautiful. And they finished. We just got off of Top Thrill Dragster. It is back open finally after multiple weeks. We just rode second and third row on it because the front row line was too long for us because we have to make our flight. So uh, we are literally sprinting from here to Cleveland to make our flight back home. But Top Road Jackson just opened. We waited two and a half hours for it before it even opened. And then we finally got on. You can see my, well, my hair is not too crazy right now, but it was fantastic. Um, the first launch is amazing. Absolutely incredible. Um, like just amazing. So here's a great look at it right here. We're actually going back to get our bags really quick, but uh, it is a fantastic launch. It goes on forever, uh, but at least in second and third row, you don't really feel the speed nearly as much as in first, I'm sure, but we don't have time for a second ride. The line is upwards of three hours right now. Um, so, oh man, I'm probably gonna move along though, because 
The midways are pretty crowded. But um, that launch is phenomenal. Going up to the top hat is quite quick. You don't really realize you're 420 feet in the air immediately. Um, but coming down that spiral, a lot more laterals than I was expecting, to be honest. Uh, actually, a little forceful on the laterals, too. But um, as you can see, the midway is quite crowded, and I think that's just because top throw open, so a lot of people are coming this way. But I'm gonna try and catch up with the other boys real quick. But uh, top throw dragster, fantastic ride over really quick. I mean, it's just 17 seconds, but you're going 120 miles an hour and 420 feet in the air. I think that makes up for it being so quick. This was Zach's most anticipated ride of the trip, and I'm glad we got to end our trip on a bang. I don't think it's my favorite launch coaster, but definitely up there for sure. Um, I'm running into the line, it seems. Wow, the line is full switchbacks, it seems. Oh, but this is definitely one of those things you gotta come check out if you can. This is definitely one of my favorite rides in the park. Definitely not my top three, I don't think, but that launch is like nothing else at this park or at any, I think. Just went looking for merch in the Pagoda gift shop. Um, just because it was the closest one. Couldn't find a Millennium Force shirt in medium or a Millennium Force model. I really want to get one bad. But I did end up getting a Maverick shirt and a Maverick model because I had both of those. So uh, I'll probably ask some friends to potentially pick these up for me and then ship them. Uh, and then maybe I'll ship some boysenberry stuff back their way. But uh, we've got to head out now because we've got to catch our flight. Yeah. Oh man, I'm sad, but we got to rush underneath Magnum for the last time. It's kind of crazy, honestly, to think that we won't be doing this again, at least this year. So as we're still mad dashing in the car, I might as well talk about today a little bit. Uh, obviously we didn't do much. We just did top wheel dragster, but I'm satisfied with that. We didn't have enough time to do anything else, really, especially with the crowds that have shown up. It is insane today. Um, <laughs> Magnum, we're talking over an hour away. Uh, even Cedar Creek Mine Ride is up to an hour. Iron Dragon is at least 45. Uh, most things have full fuse. Top Hill Dragster is three plus hours. Um, it's crazy. It's, I'm glad we did nothing else, to be honest. Uh, the only other thing I could see us doing today was Forbidden Frontier, but I'm glad we waited for Dragster because I'm so happy we got on it. Uh, kind of by luck, honestly, it seems. But oh, with Gemini racing in the background, this is our last goodbye to Cedar Point, at least for a while. And I'm kind of sad. While looking at Steel Vengeance Co. Gemini racing in the background. Top Thrill Dragster soon to be launching. <sighs> it was a lot of fun being here. And I'm so glad we ended up making it out here. <sighs> After so many years of wanting to come here. I mean, we didn't have the perfect time, but we had a good one. And I'm very glad we were able to experience the park. And pretty much all of it. And in its entirety. Um, so it was, it was great. Zach had fun, I had fun, Mario had fun, Garrick had fun. It was, it was an amazing time. But until next time, Cedar Point, we'll see you on the next ride.